Dr. Sumit Majumdar. I'm a pass out of IIT Delhi. I'm from the 2003 batch. For the last 15 years, I've been teaching students of IIT, NEET and other competitive examinations. Hi friends, today we'll discuss about kinematics. What is kinematics? Let's try to understand. Supposing you're going from your home to your school. There can be multiple paths that you can take to go from your home to the school. So let's try to understand it in a more diagrammatic way. So what we have here, let's say you start from your home. Let's say the home is the point A. You want to go to the point B, which is a school, right? So you know the source and you know the destination. Now let's see what all ways you can go about doing that. So for that, let's say you have a path like this. You can have a path which can go like this or even you can take a straight line path, right? So as we see, there is a plethora of paths that are possible. Hypothetically, all paths are possible, right? Now, when we are discussing about this, so let's try to understand what actually does kinematics mean? Does it only mean about that we are going from one point to another? No. So let's try to understand that. So let me write it. So kinematics. So kinematics is the study of motion of objects. Okay. Now when we talk about motion, what does motion stand for? Motion basically means that there is a change in position and there is a change in position happening with time. Okay. So, the change in position with time is what we define as motion. So, any object that is moving from a point and going to another point with respect to some reference points, right? So that is, in that case we say that the object is in motion. Now when it is in motion, what all are the things that we can quantify? So let's try to understand about those things. So the first thing that we try to quantify when an object is in motion is distance. Distance is a very well known word, right? So let's try to understand what is distance. You may have heard that the distance from, let's say, your home to that shop is 2 kilometers, right? Or the distance from your home to your friend's place is 200 meters. What does that all mean? Let's try to figure that out. So, we have, if we talk about distance, so distance is going to be defined at the length of the path covered right so as we saw that there are multiple paths that are there which is the path that we are taking so depending upon which path that you are taking the length of the path is going to vary right so as a result the distance is also going to vary so what is distance and distance is nothing but how much is the path or what is the length of the path that is being covered so that is how we define the distance once we have defined the distance then we need to also specify whether it is a scalar quantity or is it a vector quantity that is does it depend upon direction it does not right you can go from your home to your school or back using the same path the length of the path does not change right so if it does not change that means this is a scalar quantity so distance is nothing but scalar quantity in the same way let's talk about displacement so what is displacement so displacement is the length of the shortest path in case you remember if you go back here we saw the shortest path is the straight line path so the length of the shortest path is what we call as a displacement so displacement is going to be equals to the length of the shortest path since this is the length of the shortest path 
so there is no ambiguity there is no choice of the paths that we are left so here we have to specify that which is the direction that we are going whether we are going from your home to your school or back right so therefore we have to say that that what is the direction so when we are specifying the direction that means we are talking about a vector quantity so what it is the displacement is nothing but a vector quantity hopefully you understood about it so distance is the length of the path that we choose so it is not dependent on the direction while displacement does depend upon the direction so this way we start quantifying our motion so when an object which is moving then for that object we quantify how much is the path length and whether it is a scalar quantity or a vector quantity now stay tuned for the next one when we will discuss about speed velocity and acceleration thank you